Welcome to another screencast by Scientific Remodeling System. In this screencast, we're going to talk about the mansion wrap-up phase. In the last screencast, I showed you the mansion trim-out phase. I have the work orders and everything that's happening that week and the completed items and we see that all the final inspections have been passed and the trim out is complete so we'll move on to the wrap-up board and in this board called the wrap-up phase we have final punch list items completed punch list items the client has signed off client informed all manuals delivered the warranty is delivered and the project is 100 percent complete. So now I'll go over each one of these uh, lists with you. The final punch list items. On this list make a series of checklists of items that need to be completed to close the project. And if we turn that over there are some additional points here. Uh, one of the things that I advise you to do is adopt the zero punch list process so that at the end of the project you rather than the client have found and solved all checklist items. By the end of the job there will be no items on the checklist if you do this properly. This is one of the best ways to be the contractor of choice in your town. Optionally rather than filling out the punch list item template below which I'll show you in just a second copy the template and attach their work order to this card. Leave the contact info area unfilled and use the checklist to schedule and complete the tasks. So let's look at that card. So this is the template for punch list items and, and you're gonna have a hopefully none here but you may have a string of them and these need to be completed in order to get your final check. And if they have no work order then you can fill out who will complete this item, what company are they with, what is their specialty, etc. And down here, very similar to our work order checklist, has the trade been contacted about the punch list item? Has the trade been scheduled for their tasks? The due date set on the Trello calendar, right there. And your notifications, one week, three, day, three days, one day, and when this is finally done, you'll say the trade has completed this punch list item and that item can be moved to the completed punch list items. Now one person we may move over here, if we go back to the trim out phase, was Brenda, the final cleanup. So she, she has all her lists marked off, she's been scheduled, and we're going to uh, move that card to the mansion wrap-up phase final punch list items. So let's move that. We'll go back to the wrap-up phase and she is ready to go now. So as you, as you when you check her off and put her in the completed punch list items that will be done. So here's the template for the punch list items to complete and you can make these any way you want but if you have a work order I would just attach it here so you don't have to fill all this out and then check these off make sure they're done in a timely manner so if Brenda was done we would drag her over to the completed punch list items and then we just check off that final checklist and she would be done so when the client has signed off on this, you may have a form to have them sign off saying all the punch list items are complete. Uh, you'll merely turn this over and they've signed off on the punch list and now you're ready to close the job out. Uh, client informed, whether you are remodeling a kitchen or building a new home, there are many items you should inform the client about. All applications, faucet operation, light functions, maintenance items, and methods, cleaning methods, etc. All those need to be conveyed to the client before you close out. 
Take the time to go over everything you installed with your client. This has great value and will help you close the job with full payment and a happy, eager to refer client for life. Very, very important. Uh, and then there are some items to review with the client. This is also very helpful. Uh, you can make checklists for this for each type of project. Uh, it could be a bathroom, kitchen, attic, basement, whole house renovation. This particular one is for a bathroom, so you have checklists. Uh, for instance, how to use faucets, how to clean the sink, how to clean the countertops, you know, how to clean the tile, maintenance tips for the toilet, etc. You make this up that fits what you do and what you want to inform your client about, and this again will make you look very professional in their eyes. And then when you go to closing, all along you've collected and assembled all of the owner manuals, relevant installation manuals, etc. And you're going to hand these off to the client and you've kept them in a folder hopefully. And you make a nice folder for them and hand those over to them. And a tip here is you can also collect the URLs. Many of these owner manuals are online and it's very simple to give them a list of uh, URLs which are better than paper, keep you paperless, and then they can look these things up whenever they need them. So when all the manuals, uh, these, these are just some of the manuals you might be giving them when they're all done, you would check up, check off, all manuals have been delivered to the client. And then finally your warranty, uh, go over your warranty with them very carefully and hand it off when the check is received. Explain how often you will check back with them. Some of you check back in 90 days, 6 months, and a year. Uh, those are good checkpoints. It gives your client a lot of confidence that you are still around. It reminds them that you're, you're ready to take on new projects. And each time you go back to visit them and check their job out, ask them if they would refer you. This is a great way to get new jobs. And the tip here is to perform all warranty work quickly to preserve good client relationships. It's so important. Don't let these things drag on and on because that's the worst thing you can do. It just causes more problems. More than likely they'll find more things for you to take care of if you do that. Just try to get it done and have somebody there in 24 hours. That's the best policy. And finally, the project's 100% complete. This is the most fun one to check off. You just go over here, check that off. It says this project is 100% complete. All items are checked off of all previous boards and we have received full payment. Love that one. So that's it uh, for the mansion wrap up phase. Try to keep your final punch list items to a minimum. Work on your zero punch list process. That's the best way to do it. Find things before your client does. Take care of them. And in the next uh, Trello project management system for remodelers, I will show you the post project phase. What to do after you close the project to maximize your referral rates and to get more leads and more repeat business from this person. So I'll see you on the next screencast. Thank you and so long. This is Randall Souls with Scientific Remodeling System.